Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Sedishi Sistema 2 helmet available at Revzilla.com. So Sedishi is one of Revzilla's exclusive brands, and really what this means is we get to give direct feedback right to the designers based on responses that we've heard from our customers. So the Sistema 2 is the new version of the outgoing Sistema, which is on the table on my left hand side. Now, really what we did was a complete ground up redesign of this. It's been in the works for about three years. And a lot of the changes that we're gonna discuss in here have come directly from the feedback that we have received. Now, the Sistema, too, is going to be a modular helmet in Sedishi's line. So this is gonna be aimed at you touring riders out there that want the functionality of being able to open up that face shield when you get to a gas station or a rest stop. So you don't have to take your helmet off, but you can still comfortably drink or have a conversation with the person that you're riding with. Now the price point is coming in right around the $200 mark. Revzilla does have the price match guarantee, so you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. But really what you're gonna see here is a solid modular helmet, which is gonna give you a ton of upgrades over the outgoing version. The outgoing version was a bestseller, but really what you're gonna see here are vast improvements made based on just real world feedback of what it's like to ride in this helmet. Now, if you're looking at this side by side, what hasn't changed is the fact that it's still going to be a fiberglass Kevlar shell. So you have a fiberglass shell with a Kevlar reinforcement right at the top of this. The chin bar is gonna be polycarb, but the shell itself is going to be the same. That being said, what has changed is the actual shape. So on the previous version, you had this spoiler on the back and you had a different vent system on the top. They've actually changed that to incorporate the spoiler into the design of the shell itself. And what this is gonna do for you is it cuts down on wind noise, making the helmet quieter. And then the redesign to the vent is gonna help cut down on wind noise too, while also improving ventilation. So you can see that as they are sitting side by side. Two shell sizes are available. You're gonna have extra small up to medium in one shell size and then large up to 3XL in the second shell size. Helmet's gonna be DOT ECE rated. You're gonna see there is a drop down sun visor in there. The weight for this, when we threw it in the scale in the medium, came in at three pounds, 12 ounces. So a little bit on the heavier side, but really when we're looking at a modular helmet, this is pretty much par for the course. Three pounds, 12 ounces in a medium. Now the biggest change that you're not gonna be able to see on the camera is the internal fitment for this. They are drastically, or they have drastically improved the internal fit compared to the previous version. It is now a true intermediate oval. A little bit longer front to back, a little bit narrow down the side of the head. It's gonna work for the majority of riders out there in the American market. Now, as I say this, if you're looking at this as your first helmet and you're not sure what I'm talking about when I'm talking about internal fitments, I would encourage you to watch our how to size and buy a motorcycle helmet video what we do there is we break down what internal fitment means and how you should be looking to find the correct helmet for your head shape as well as the correct size. So if you're new to this whole game, make sure you check that video out. Now, looking at this helmet back to back with the old version, like I said, the first thing you're gonna note is that while the helmet might have a similar profile, we did add the spoiler at the back of the Sistema 2, so that is gonna help with just improved balance when you're riding on the highway. Sadishi also incorporated everything into the design of the shell. So ventilation is improved. The vents themselves actuate smoother, they lock into position better, and they just help to improve ventilation. The other thing you'll know from just looking at it is those side pods on the, on the side of this are gonna be gone. So some of the real complaints that we had from other riders was the fact that those side pods could sometimes become undone. You could lose them while you're riding. They weren't really easy to use to actually change this. So what has been incorporated here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull. So actually, let me show you what I'm doing here. So we have the internal sun visor, which is down. It actuates over on the left-hand side. So if you push that forward, it goes back up. I'm just gonna go ahead and raise that up because it's easier to kind of demonstrate this. Now, the face shield compared to the previous version with that pod, 100% easier and less clunky, um, and you don't have to worry about that pod falling off. Still, it's gonna require two hands. So you have this, this little red tab on the back. What you need to do is you put your finger in there, you pull the tab backwards, and then you pull the face shield out. To get it back in, you wanna line it up, you wanna pull that tab back, and then it slides right into place. You wanna just open and close it a few times to make sure that it actually stays in. And then you're gonna have a few different positions of detents. Now, the one thing to note here, the detents isn't super strong. If you're someone who likes to ride 
with that vent in the or the the face shield in the you know mid position if you're riding at highway speeds it's probably going to shut down closed on you um, so while there are some detents there really this is something that you're going to want to wear either in the complete open position or you want to have that closed now i will say that you do have the city position so as you're looking at this you do have that one little position that does leave it cracked to help with a little bit of airflow in the city position or you can snap it down into place the face shield itself is much thicker in its design and there's a full gasket seal around that's a one-piece gasket seal for a better seal compared to the previous version cutting down on wind noise and also just giving you a better closure all around face shield is going to be pin lock ready pin lock insert is not included with this that's going to be uh, available as an extra add-on item but the face shield itself the mechanism vastly improved over the previous version you're going to have a new vent up top and then you're still going to have passive vents at the back passive vent at the back of the top and then two passive vents at the rear opening this up taking a look at the inside so we talked about this with some of the other new sadishi helmets but really what you're going to see is a chin curtain that is more securely locked into place and this is actually the first time that i've seen this from a manufacturer sadishi actually has a chin curtain that snaps in now the beauty of a chin curtain you can see this is actually kind of hard to get out which is what their design was focused on um, but the beauty of a chin curtain is that it helps to cut down on wind noise the downside of a chin curtain in most situations is that it just falls in and out too easily so because this is a modular helmet you know you're opening and closing that on a pretty regular basis there's three snaps on either side so if you want to leave this into place you like the way that chin curtain comes down fits over your chin helps to cut down on wind noise it's not going to be falling in and out while you're using the helmet if you are someone that doesn't like a chin curtain, you can completely remove it. It just takes a little bit more effort to get that out of there. And it's really just those six snaps. Once it's out, you can use it without it. But again, one of the things that I like about it, especially in this design, it helps to cut down on wind noise. Taking a look at the inside, you're gonna have double D-rings designed for the closure for the chin curtain. You are gonna have metal mounting points for the actual closing of the modular itself. And pulling out the cheek pads, what you'll notice is that there's a better contour to this, better fit, better comfort. And this goes back to what we were talking about earlier when, we, when they redesigned the internals for this. It's a better head shape, more comfortable all around. And you are going to have speaker cutouts in here. Now, the one thing I want to note is that there is going to be a Polare version of this helmet, which includes a comm system built in. And there is going to be a carbon fiber version. But those are going to be additional add-ons later on. But right now, if you're looking at this and you already have a comm system, you want to add it, you can go ahead and you can do that. There are going to be the speaker pockets in here. If you're someone that doesn't have a comm system already and you like the idea of getting a helmet that is uh, all inclusive, you would want to check out the Polare version of this. That will have that comm system already built in. But again, cheek pads, easy in, easy out. You've got three snaps and then it actually works its way into the, uh, the shell itself. Uh, if you want to pull these out and clean them, you can easily do so taking the liner system out. Now, the one thing that Sidishi did here that I really like is you are going to have at the front of the liner and the sides of the liner additional five millimeter pads. Now, those pads can be removed. So if you want to fine tune the fit, you can actually take these pads and you can pull them out. They are going to be glued into place, but you can pull those off. So what this allows you to do is you can fine tune the fit. So if you need more room at the front of your head, you can pull those off. If you need more room at the side of the head, you can pull those off. So even though this is an intermediate oval fit, it helps to accommodate folks who have a slightly longer oval head or a slightly rounder head. And that's all gonna be included in the inside portion of the top with this. Now, I will say the one thing to note when you're looking at this liner, this is a feature that's normally reserved for a more expensive helmet. We've seen this from other manufacturers before, but you're usually getting up into a much higher price point. Now, my biggest nitpick with the design is that while you are going to have uh, vents with this, I think they could have done a better job of improving the channels themselves. So the channels for this aren't gonna be nearly as deep or as vast as what we've seen from some other manufacturers, but Sidishi is really taking a step in the right direction with the Sistema 2. So again, if you're looking at this side by side with the original version, and the original version was a best-selling helmet for a lot of riders, um, I think you're gonna be very impressed with the changes that Sidishi has made. Even being able to close that, everything is a little bit tighter in general. Um, just a much nicer helmet considering the price point that you're playing at here. Now, 
At, that, at this stage in the game, there are a lot of riders out there that have already ridden in the Sistema 2, or the Sistema 1, rather, and there's a lot of folks that will be riding in the Sistema 2. So if you want to hear what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting the Sistema 2 through its paces. If you're still not sure as to which helmet is right for you and your riding style, you can reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com and they can walk you through all of the modular helmets available within a given price point to make sure that you find the right helmet for your ride. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Sidishi Sistema 2. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.